Oh, okay, so right from the onset, it's obvious that YouTube isn't talking to the actual content creators who are woefully underappreciated and treated like garbage by YouTube. No, 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 they're going to try to give all of this stuff to people who don't actually create content. This is for all the viewers, all the watchers, people who don't actually do anything. People who don't work. <laughs> Oh, and leave it to YouTube to make a dirty word out of heroes. This is, I think, the only good thing here. This is the only part of this video that I think I agree with. Adding captions or subtitles to videos does take effort, does take work, and it allows for them to make the site better. So they should be rewarded for that. Yeah, sure. And if someone went through all my videos and added subtitles to them or gave them captions, then I would want them to be rewarded for that. Huh, wait a second here. Report inappropriate videos accurately. That's not what it used to say. It used to say report negative content. Now it says report inappropriate videos accurately. They actually edited a video that was uploaded and didn't have to re-upload it. That's not something I can do as far as I know. If I have to edit a video, then I have to delete it and then uh, edit it and then re-upload the video. YouTube's doing things that normal content creators cannot do for extremely devious means. YouTube can't be trusted as a company. Google can't be trusted as a company. You can't trust these companies. I mean, without saying anything, they edited a video and they're already being devious and sly and this YouTube hero program hasn't even started. Imagine what will happen after it's introduced into the wild. I mean, a hundred bucks says that this whole conversation back and forth thing will just be about people talking about how to game the system for extra points because they're, after all, making a game out of flagging content. That couldn't possibly ever go wrong. I mean, as we watch this, you can see, obviously, the ten trillion ways how it could be abused. Yeah, guys, become a hero. This is what heroism is, guys. This is what being a hero is about. Being a hero is about sitting on your asshole at home in front of a computer and flagging shit that you don't like. It's not about negative content. It's not about what's inappropriate. It's about using this system. Again, there are 10 trillion ways to abuse it. It's about using this system to take shit down that you just don't like on the internet. And that makes you a hero. What? Someone said nigger, take it down. What? Someone said faggot, take it down. We can't have that on the internet. I don't like that. Oh, someone made a video criticizing a YouTuber that I like? Better take that video down, better flag it. Oh, someone made a video against me that I don't like? I better tell all my subs to go and flag his video. This couldn't possibly go wrong. Now talk about a fucking community I don't ever want to be a part of. An entire global conglomerate of people who are butthurt over things on the internet. I mean, again, you've made this into something dirty and awful. Nobody is going to proudly say, I'm a level 3 YouTube hero. Look at all the things that I flag. You know, people aren't going to go around and broadcast that. If they do, they're going to be ridiculed and made fun of. They're going to be scorned by the community because they're the problem. You are making YouTube even more so into an in and out group. No, continue your indoctrination, you mean. We have to continue to teach you. Well, you have to be continued to be conditioned on how to get rid of wrong think. Yeah, come pay us even more money to take our workshops where we teach you how to flag even more stuff. We'll broaden your horizons and we'll expand the scope of things that you need to be taking off the internet and you need to be feeling offended by. Do you think workshops like this are going to have the primary goal of expanding free speech? Do you think they're going to say, oh, well, other people may have things that you don't disagree with or might be slightly offensive to you personally. However, you should still leave it because- No, 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 it's not going to be like that. It is not going to be like that. They're going to say, here's how to take all this shit down as best as you can. This is not going to be a seminar on the virtues of tolerance. 
Yeah, come and use our shitty Skype clone. This is, is no one is no one thinking Scientology where you like go up the ranks based on your devotion to the program and you get to have uh, access to more secrets. You have proved yourself to be loyal to the Empire. We will now give you access to the finest super tools you could possibly imagine to fight the Rebel Alliance. The level of butthurt is strong in this one. Something, something, something dark side. Mass flag videos. Who the fuck think that thinks that this is a good idea? Who the fuck thinks that giving someone on the internet, some nobody, some child, some guy who has enough time on his hands to do this, who possibly could think that giving someone the power to mass flag videos so that they will be taken down was a good idea? Because remember, when you flag a video, it's down. It's gone. Toodaloo. Sayonara. And good... Oh, thank God. When you... This is such a bad idea. This when I first when I first watched this video, I cried aloud in dismay. I literally just went like, "Ugh!" I I couldn't believe that this was an actual thing. Mass flag videos? Are you shitting me, YouTube? Who at YouTube thinks that's a good idea? Who thinks that YouTube this couldn't possibly be abused? Wow, I sure don't like Rags' channel. I'll just uh, flag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just flag all of his videos as being, I don't even know why. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't even know why. I don't know why they'd be, get flagged, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what a rational person might think because this tool is not for rational people. I was like, mass flagging of videos is not something that a rational person does. It's what a troll does. It's what an SJW does. It's what... It's what is done by people who are looking for a reason to take down opinions that they do not like. That is the entire crux of the YouTube hero program. It's to get rid of all the wrong think. Next Gen 720? Fucking idiot. I still don't want his videos taken down. Crap Gamer Reviews? Absolute moron. I still don't want his videos taken down. JTEC TV? The quintessential imbecile. If there ever was one, but I don't want his videos taken down. I mean, yeah, I don't know why JTEC TV still has a channel on YouTube because he's broken the guidelines so many times and has committed perjury against me, but there's YouTube for you. That's fucking YouTube for it. And this entire video has to be taken. There, there are two, there are two viewpoints that you have to consider when you look at this video. There's the viewpoint of someone who doesn't create content, and there's the viewpoint of someone who does spend hours and hours and hours, and uh, some people whose jobs it is to make content on YouTube. There are two viewpoints that you have to consider when you're doing this. And this video, this hero program, is not centered around rewarding people who grow the site, who spend hours and hours, who put their blood, sweat, and tears into making all this stuff, because it's, it's not easy, and it takes a lot of time Time. YouTube treats content creators like garbage. The content ID system is broken. The appeal system for every type of flag is broken. YouTube is a broken shit website. The only reason people are here is because that's where everyone is. As far as I'm concerned, YouTube is run by a bunch of robots. No human beings work and create YouTube anything. It's just a bunch of robots. Just so, so some sort of auto automatous code that just does everything and dispels justice as it is programmed to. Do you think... Here's the thing. So, you have someone who's going around mass flagging videos, and it won't be someone. It will be every fucking person who's level 3, because that's the point of doing this. You want to get to level 3 so you can mass flag videos. That's ultimately going, the, going to be the, the pinnacle. Of ascension, uh, of ascension for a lot of people. Just the, they just need to get enough points to get to level 3 so they can mass flag entire channels. So they can mass flag everything about a certain topic. Talk bad about Muslims? Boop, 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 boop. All those videos are flagged for, I don't know, hate speech or something. Oh, you're talking about about, uh, talking about about somebody that you like? Mass flag all your videos. Haha, ha, that'll teach you to have a different opinion. And do you think that the YouTube appeal process is going to always work in your favor as it should? Fuck no. I've already been screwed by the appeal system.
As far as I'm concerned, the YouTube appeal system is designed to give an inherent and insanely advantageous uh, level of power to the accuser and not the accused. Uh, YouTube already operates under the assumption that you're guilty until you're proven innocent. Your channel gets crippled if they don't accept your appeal for whatever reason, regardless of how silly and ridiculous it is. Now imagine not, hap not having that happen to one of your videos. Not having it happen to two, but happening to five, ten, twenty, or just fuck all of them. Chris Ragren will be- Chris Ragren will be gone. Sargon of Akkad will be gone. Paul Joseph Watson will be gone. Thunderfoot will be gone. Undoomed will be gone. Jimquisition, gone. And even a lot of the smaller channels, I, potentially, I'm gone. Black Bond, gone. Because once somebody gets butt hurt because someone more popular than them made a video criticizing something that they said, they'll just say, hey, all my subs, go and go to this channel and flag all of his shit. And then it'll all get taken down. And it's not even people with things like opinions. What if a corporation gets to this level? You get a, a corporate account, it gets to level 3, and it's easy because you can have multiple people working on the same account, it could get to level 3 in a fucking afternoon, and then BAM, you say something bad about a game, you review it the wrong way, you do any of this stuff, we're gonna content ID claim it. We're gonna flag you for harassment, we're going to stifle your channel in every way that we can, right, under some magical alias, because we can. Because now we can mass flag videos, we can do it in one fell swoop, boom, your channel's gone. Talk about, I mean, the worst idea ever, just giving anybody who, on YouTube the power to mass flag videos. It's like going out into the street and just randomly handing a badge and a gun to people and saying, oh, you're a cop now, shoot the bad guys and arrest all the lawbreakers and you'll, you'll do fine, just go out and do it. Do they not think that this will not be abused in 99% of the scenarios? Look, the person who thinks that it is okay to mass flag videos is not the person who needs to be trusted with the responsibility to mass flag videos. Even guys like Gazi Kodzo, Black Hitler, the guy who hates white people, the dude who's constantly spewing racist nonsense from his mouth, the black supremacist dude, even as vile and awful and full of hate as that guy is, for instance, I still don't want his videos taken down. Because I'm- I'm a rational person, but this tool isn't for, this- this tool isn't designed by its very nature for rational people. It's designed for people to- it's like it's designed to be taken advantage of. I'm fucking done talking about this, it's- it's self-evident how stupid this should be. Let's move on with the rest of this bullshit garbage. Oh yeah, like this is any better. Just go to all the- just go to all the comments you don't like. Boop, boop, boop. Ka-ching, they're gone. It's like, I don't like what he says, that's gone. I don't like what he says, that's gone. Oh, he's a Trump supporter. Uh, I don't, I don't support Trump, so he's gone. Oh, this guy likes a PC? Well, I don't like the PC, so, uh, that comment's gone. That's a pro Xbox comment. I don't like that. That's gone. Again, this kind of stuff is for people who shouldn't want this kind of stuff. For, for the right reasons. I mean, it's, it's designed to be taken advantage of. It's like it's designed to be abused. Look, you get to a point on a channel where you see comments all the time, every damn day. And all these comments are just, there's some nasty, hateful, awful, vile stuff that just, just gets on your nerves and it frustrates you. And there have been so many times, and, and you say you're immune to it. People will say, oh, I'll never get that way. I'll never get that way. But it's so goddamn tempting. When you know that you have a channel, and there are people who come to it just to spew bullshit, oh, you know you just want to make all those comments go away. You know that you have the power to make a comment that you disagree with vehemently. Just go away. Just disappear. Just chuck it into the nebulous cloud of the ether that is deleted comments. You wish that you could just make it go away, and you know you can. And you feel that temptation inside of you, because you know you could just make it disappear. But you have to stop yourself. Everyone will get tempted to do this. Every single person will experience that temptation. But, I resist that temptation. I see con comments all day, all damn day, that I could just make disappear. But I don't. That's why I've made videos of me mass approving, what, 5,000 or whatever comments. Yeah, okay. 5,000 comments, boop, approved every single one of them. But this is the kind of Gestapo attitude that they're going to reward people for doing. Oh, this guy, like I said, this guy supports Trump in the election. Well, off it goes. This guy has an opinion I don't like, off it goes. And once your opinion gets taken down, once your comment gets taken down, oh, fuck that, good luck. 
with an appeal to get your comment back on YouTube. It's hard enough to get a video that's taken down off of YouTube. That appeal system's already broken. Good luck getting content back that's in the form of a comment. And this whole system is about encouraging people to just take down stuff they don't like. It's about encouraging people to just remove en masse comments that they don't approve of. Instead of actually giving content creators the ability to moderate their own channels properly, now you're letting all these fucking heroes all get together and decide, Oh, yep, we don't like that, we don't like that, we don't like that, we don't like that, we don't like that. How about you stay the fuck off my channel and I'll moderate it myself, thank you. Or I'll just let everything slide and let people, <gasps> imagine that, let people decide what kind of stuff they want to look at or not. What a, what an idea that would be. Holy shit. You know what I'd be able- you know what I would give to be able to contact YouTube staff directly? They're gonna let fucking people who don't even make a single video, who just go around flagging content, now they can talk to their masters and overlords personally. I can't contact YouTube. I can't do it. I've tried. I cannot contact YouTube. The only way that you might be able to do that is to get an actual letter and write out, like with a pen, like, like, actual, like, a physical piece of paper, write words on that piece of paper, fold it up, put it in, put it in an envelope, buy a stamp, and send your message physically to YouTube HQ. That's the only way I can imagine you can actually get into contact with YouTube. Because, again, I'm convinced it's all robots who run YouTube. And they don't, there's no human beings there. I've got 100,000 subs, basically, now. I can't contact YouTube. There are people with millions, millions of subscribers, and they cannot contact YouTube. All the messages I get from them are automated messages, and there's, they don't lead anywhere, so I can't reply to them. And here they are, instead of saying, well, once you get to a certain size, you've already made us enough money, and you've already brought enough attention to our website, now you've earned the ability to send us emails directly, so that we can talk to you, because, you know, we're partners in this symbiotic relationship. We have the platform, you have the content, we work together to make a successful website. No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give all the people who are good enough ass lickers... We're going to give all the people who do our jobs for us, who moderate, quote-unquote, moderate our channel, we're going to give them the ability to contact us. The dudes with a million subs, two million subs, rags with a hundred thousand subscribers. No, no, he can't contact us. They can't contact us. Fuck them. They just make all the content for our website. The real heroes get to be the one who talk to us. Fuck off, YouTube. This is the shit that people are talking about. You're giving all the crap that content creators have been begging you for for ages to people who don't make the content. It's like you're spitting in our faces. It's like, oh, they want all this stuff? Well, we'll give it to somebody else. This wouldn't be as much of a big deal if it was possible to contact YouTube or, or, to, or, to may, or maybe if the appeal system wasn't so broken. Again, you get about a Twitter post length's worth of space to make an appeal to defend yourself against an accusation or a flag that could cripple your channel for half a year. You only get about 150-ish characters. It's laughable. It's a joke that for no reason they give you such tiny, tiny amounts of spaces to defend yourself against this and to keep your channel up and running as it should be. But you can't contact. If you lose the appeal, it's done. It's over. You can't contact them directly. You can't do it. It's done. Let's move along. Fuck this bullshit. Yeah, the Hero Summit are what it will be known as a mark of shame. You tell people you're a level 5 flagget, and then people will think, Oh, I wonder how much content he got removed from YouTube. I wonder how often that person was offended. I wonder what views they silenced in order to get onto their pedestal. I mean, it's the YouTube equivalent of being the teacher's pet. Already there are so many comments on YouTube, I don't want to be a hero, then I want to be a villain. Chris Reagan, for instance, his, his Twitter handle now is YouTube Villain. You are forcing people to have to call themselves villains because being a hero is a word that you have tainted so much. Because based on YouTube's definition of hero, then I'll gladly title myself a villain, an instigator, an opposer. Because I will tell you right now, there is far more virtue in being a YouTube villain than there is in being a YouTube hero.
Long story short, YouTube is making a game of flagging content. And if you don't think that this is... This, the video's done. I don't have, this is self-evident how horrible of an idea it is. Look at this shit. I mean, if you go to the video, you can see 1,600,000 views. What's the like to dislike ratio? 10K to 497K. As if it wasn't ironic enough, comments are disabled for this video on this massive program that we're trying to create to moderate YouTube. Comments disabled. Thank God this hasn't actually begun yet, because YouTube Heroes is sanctioned censorship.